Hello everyone, so I've got a question in comments about the cropping or batch cropping of the files. So I wrote a script. I'm pretty sure that there is a proper way to do that, but it is easier for me to just write a small script. So what I do, I first need to open the file and determine the area that I'm going to crop. So what I do First of all, of course, to know the commands that you're going to use, you go to Plugins, Macros, and then Record. So here, it will show all the commands that we are going to perform. So let's say that you cho choose uh, whichever selection tool you have. And it also duplicates it here as commands for your, uh, for your script. Okay, so I chose the default one, which is rectangle here, and I don't need any of those, as well as this one, actually. So what I do, first of all, I am selecting the area to crop to. So here you can see that it shows the start of the selection and the end of it. So 6987 is here, 491, 580 is here. You could also do the combination shift plus selection and it gives you the square selection okay so the start here is 5968 and the end is 513 513 so 500 is here okay so let's say that we determine the area that we are going to crop to then we are going to image and press on crop or use the shortcut ctrl shift x Okay, so now it cropped the file and you can see it here. What you do next, you're going to save the file as and let's say that we're going to use TIF and we're going to save it somewhere here. Now we are going to close our window. Okay, so these are all comments that you're going to use in the script. So I already wrote these small JavaScript here. Okay, so the name of the macro is batch crop. So it is going to appear in your macros menu here in plugins. Everything within these curly braces is the body of your, of your macros. Okay, so first of all, we set the batch mode of image J to true. Then we declare the variable folder and this is a prompt, so it will ask you to choose or to select the folder with the input files. Then it is going to go through this folder and put the names of the files inside into the variable called list1. Then we declare n1 variable, which is the length of this list. So it gives you the number of all files in your input folder. Okay, then we declare the folder out or output folder. Again, it's a prompt, so you will be selecting it. Inside the list2 variable, it is going to store the number of files inside this output folder. N2 is the number of files in your output folder. So this small variable is equal to N1 here. And you don't actually need to use it, but it looks just prettier for me to declare another variable for our condition loop. Okay, so here you have this for loop with the conditions declared. So inside the body of this loop, we are going to use the commands from our macros. Okay, so here uh, we take the i or iterable va uh, variable, which is equal to zero if you don't have any files inside this inside this folder. Of course, to start uh, from the beginning, you need to have it uh, empty. So your folder should be empty. Okay, so what you do, you have to declare the name of the, uh, of the file and it will be equal to the name of the source. Okay, so if it is going to use this photo for cropping, it will give you the same name um, as in the source. Then we have open of the file 
and we need all these variables here so folder and then the name of your file so this i means that you have from the first to the last file been cycled through in this for loop after that we have the make rectangle command which gives us the rectangle from our macros so let's say th this is the square 100 by 100 pixels of course you are going to change it to your needs so first determine the number and then go to this selection okay so you have to run the crop as we did here and finally you are going to save it as so again if you want to save it as PNG like here you are going to write PNG instead of TIF so PNG then you have the folder out which is your output folder here and the name of the file which is declared here again uh, instead of using a lot of variables that are kind of complicating the whole process you can use instead of this name you could use directly list1 and i as the order number of the file but again because it looks prettier and anyone can understand it easier i'm trying to put these new variables which are actually equal to uh, the the variables that were declared before finally we are closing this file because otherwise it overpopulates your ram okay so here after all the changes close the uh, script file here in our Fiji we are going to plugins menu then choose the macros menu and from this macros menu we are going to install the macros that we scripted so you go to the folder with the crop script txt file double click on it and here you can see that one macro is installed okay so to check it you go to macro and you can see that it is installed patch crop you're going to run it so click on it and here you see the first input prompt and you're going to choose the folder with the source photos next you have output okay it's done now so we go to our output folder and let's open the input so you can see that we have uh, six files here and six files here and we crop them uh, the same rectangle so it's the one that we were taking from this image so the one that we, uh, that you should determine yourself and it takes the same parts for each of this file so because this is a prolonged photo and I took only this part for the photo that is like this it will take the rectangle somewhere here because it's not prolonged it's kind of landscaped and you should be aware of that so all the dimensions of the source files should be the same and the part that you crop should be in the same area for each of these images otherwise it won't work so I hope it was clear for you thank you for watching subscribe comment like it or dislike it and if it was helpful or you did not understand the parts of this video please write it in comment and i will try to answer your questions